All right, so we just flew the drone up to the Apple Tire there, guys. We just did it. Hola. Yeah. Hola. Nuestros amigos en Alosta. Hola. ¿Qué pasa? De Bogotá. ¿Qué pasa? Del... ¿Qué pasa, parcero? Pablo Escobar, Landia. ¿Qué pasa, parcero? So we're still in Paris, and um, this is day two, and I wanted to show you guys our hostel because this is the first time I've ever stayed in a hostel. It's actually a lot uh, more than I expected. It's almost like a hotel. This one is anyway. Basically, it's like every man for himself, but you have bunks. You have this room has four bunks. The more bunks you have, the cheaper the room, the less bunks, you know, there's basically more privacy, is more money. Each bunk has almost like a airplane type setup. Overhead, you know, you have an overhead light, you have two power outlets, and you have two USBs here. So that's kind of cool, and then it has a curtain here that you can just, for privacy. Each bed comes with your own locker, which is pretty big, it'll accommodate a lot of stuff. With, and you get a bed. By a padlock in the lobby. Like, here's your toilet. This is just this is just guys' toilets. There's guys and girls separate. There's two guys' toilets, and then there's two showers. And the showers are pretty nice. There's they come with a. The water was pretty warm. It's not hot. They don't want you sitting here for hours, so they kind of make it not too hot. When staying your clothes, very nice. So for 20 bucks, you can stay in Paris. At this place. This is what it looks like outside. This is the whole hostel. And that down there's like a little cafe club. It's kind of crazy at night. We'll go straight up and down. error exit GPS mode magnetic field interference is probably the uh, Eiffel Tower's magnetic interference so they get it up it could go crazy on me I'm taking the card out of my GoPro I don't know what the card even is right now then the drum card I have no idea I just put the drone up <laughs> next to the Eiffel Tower. I mean, it's really close, and it's like, I mean, it's like, you could hit it with a baseball right now. It's that close, it's like right across the street. I was getting a ton of magnetic interference messages, which is probably that thing, I, I'm guessing. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could go across that river over there and try to put it up there a little farther away and get the whole shot. That's beautiful. Now's the time to almost do it, you know? So anyway, I don't know if I have the guts to go across the street and do it, but it's really pretty. I mean, regardless, regardless if you're in a drone or on the ground, it's still beautiful. It's really, it's very windy. It's probably not a good idea to fly a drone. Look at that. See how windy that is? Tell them how windy it is, John. Tell them how cold it is. Very cold and windy. All right, so we're gonna go down here. We're still trying to figure out how to, still trying to figure out how to get this drone up. I mean, it's such a cool shot. 
we'll have to get it. We're on the other side of the river, the sign river now. So we're down here, there's like no one down here. There's this little brick area that runs along the river here, the sign river, and there's no one down there. It's just me and John. And this is like kind of some big boat, but it looks like someone lives here. But we want to just go straight up. I think I could put the drone right here. There's trees there and there's trees there, but I think the space right here is clear enough. I could just put the drone up. Just go straight up. I think so. Yeah. So I'm just gonna try to go. Between the trees and Yeah, I can go like right here. Good to see me. Nice to meet you, you guys. Take nice care. <laughs> Alright, so we just flew the drone up to the Apple Tire there, you guys. We just did it. And there's this really sweet uh, family from Paris. They came and watched us with their little kid. It's nerve wracking, man. It's so scary for me. I don't know why. The feeling of doing something like that is like, it's like bungee jumping. I'm not kidding you.